world's greatest person. The pre-existence of Jesus is the world's greatest mystery. The birth of Jesus is the world's greatest birth. The impeccable holy life that Jesus lived is the world's greatest life. Jesus' death is the world's greatest death. The blood he shed at Calvary is the world's greatest chemical fluid. All right. The resurrection of Jesus is the world's greatest miracle. That makes the gospel the world's greatest message. Yes, sir. The second birth is the world's greatest experience. Holiness is the world's greatest lifestyle. Yes, Prayer is the world's greatest power. Yes, sir. Praise is the world's greatest expression. Yes, sir. Worship is the world's greatest occupation. Yes, the coming of Jesus is the world's greatest expectation. Yes, the apostolic doctrine is the world's greatest truth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All of those great things are contained in a name. And that's the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So greetings in Jesus' name, everybody. Yeah. I'm honored and delighted to be with you. I really appreciate the banquet on Friday evening, honoring and respecting your pastor for his 70th birthday. I can't believe he's 70. All right. But I can't believe I'm 80. Right. I turned 80 on April the 1st, and my great-granddaughter called me up she said, great grandfather, 80 is only a number. That's right. And I said, great granddaughter, 80 is only a number and King Kong was only a monkey. <laughs> but he was a big monkey. Amen. Amen. I want to say how much I appreciate the choir this morning. Amen. They proved Amen. in a very, four voices, an organ player, a drummer, and a directress. And they proved in a very profound, eloquent, an unequivocal manner that a choir does not have to be big to be bad. Right. Not only do I like what they sing, I like the way that they sing it. All right. You got a lot of choirs now who can sing good, but they be singing dumb songs. Yes, sir. And you got some other choirs who they can't sing good, but the songs are good. This choir. Sings good and singing good stuff. Right. The blood still works. Yes. You know, the Bible said in Acts 20 and 28, mm -hmm. Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the Holy Ghost has made you overseers to feed the church of God which he has purchased with his own blood. Everybody knows the Bible says in John 4, 24, God is a spirit. Any fool knows a spirit don't have blood. God purchased the church with his own blood. How did God, who is a spirit, get blood? God, who is spirit, got blood by becoming a man. And when God became a man, God became what he was not, and yet remained what he was. When God became a man, he didn't stop being God to become a man. He remained God and became man. And that's why we call Jesus God man. He wasn't part God, part man. He was all God and all man. That's why I tell people, anything, watch it, anything that Jesus did, and you can duplicate it or replicate it, he did it on his mother's side. Uh -huh. <laughs> but the stuff that Jesus did that have never been duplicated, he did that on his father's side. Right. Because Jesus had an earthly mother and a heavenly father. Yeah. Right. Well, people who knew my parents, there's not, there's not many left now because I'm 80, and the folks who knew my parents, they've been gone. But the people who knew my parents growing up in Detroit, people would point me out, you Reverend Johnny James' son, you look just like him. Others would say, you Bertha James' son, you look like her. Not a contradiction, not paradoxical. I look like both of them. I got 23 chromosomes from my mama. I got 23 chromosomes from my father, giving me a chromosome number of 46. The scientists call that chromosomal compatibility. Right. It took my mother and father together to produce me. My mama didn't do it, and my daddy didn't That's do it. Right. Right. They did it. Yeah. Right. I don't know whether they did it upstairs in the bedroom or downstairs in the den. <laughs> but I know that what they did produced me. So here I am now. Take me or leave me. I got light brown eyes on my mother's side. But my ears stick out on my father's side. Right. I got rough, kinky hair on my mother's side. Uh -huh. A prominent nose on my father's side. Right. Thick, full lips on my mother's side. Brown skin 
on my father's side. I got long fingers on my mother's side. I got a football head on my father's side. I'm pigeon toed on my mother's side. I'm bow legged on my father's side. I got a sense of humor on my mother's side, but I got a serious streak in me on my father's side. Let me tell you about our Jesus. The blood still works. Jesus was the son of man on his mother's side, but the son of God on his father's side. Jesus was the seed of David on his mother's side, but the root of David on his father's side. Jesus was the seed of Abraham on his mother's side, but before Abraham on his father's side. Jesus was finite on his mother's side, but infinite on his father's side. Jesus was natural on his mother's side, but supernatural on his father's side. Jesus was ordinary on his mother's side, but extraordinary on his father's side. Jesus was physical on his mother's side, but spiritual on his father's side. Temporal on his mother's side, eternal on his father's side. Six foot two on his mother's side. Feel all space on his father's side. Jesus walked by the sea on his mother's side, but he walked on the sea on his father's side. He got hungry on his mother's side, fed the 5,000 on his father's side. He preached the word on his mother's side. He was the word on his father's side. He died on a cross on his mother's side, but he rose from the dead on his father's side. He got his body from his mother's side. He got his blood from his father's side, 